In this video, we are going to look at the relationship between demand and willingness to pay. So let's look at an example here. So if you are posed the, the question, how much are you willing to pay to use Facebook for an hour? Let's say we go out there, we interview 30 people, and this is the information we got from them. Okay, so uh, this column we will call willing, willingness to pay, which is how much they are willing to pay to use Facebook for one hour. And this column captures the number of people who responded uh, based on these figures posed to them. Okay, so 12 people responded they are willing to pay $10 to use Facebook for one hour. Uh, eight people responded they are willing to pay 12. Uh, 15 responded they are willing to pay 5. No, 5 responded they are willing to pay $15. And 2 responded they are willing to pay uh, $20. Okay, so from here we can we can, uh, we can can draw uh, draw up what you call a willingness to pay care from this information. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, so let's put X. Uh, let's put willingness to pay on the y-axis. Okay, let's call it willingness to pay. Okay, on the y-axis. So we have uh, all the way to to twenty. So I'll put twenty here. Uh, we have 18 so this is capturing also the price you can think about that as also the price they are willing to pay uh, 15 and 12 and 10 okay now so how many people were willing said they are willing to pay $20 that is two so let's put the number of people right here number of people okay so two people were willing to pay twenty dollars okay and so we can can plot that uh, 18 three people were willing to pay 18 so let's do that let's plot that uh, so we have three uh, you have five people who are willing to pay 15, so let's put five right here. Willing to pay $15. Let's plot that point. 12, no, eight people are willing to pay $12, so 12 right there. Uh, eight people are willing to pay 12. Let's plot, let's plot that right there. And 12 people were willing to pay $10. Okay, so $10 right there. Let's see, 12 people right here were willing to pay 10. Let's plot that. Okay, so let's, now we can join all the points. Okay, so when you join these points, now what you get, this curve is what we call your willingness to pay curve, okay? call it the willingness to pay curve willingness to pay curve now so what is the relationship between this curve and the demand curve okay so the willingness to pay curve is the same as the demand curve okay so you can think about the willingness to pay as the price that each of each of these people sampled said they are willing to pay which is the maximum they are willing to pay okay to use facebook for one so this willingness to pay is the same as the price okay and the number of people in this column is the quantity is similar to the quantity uh, demanded. So this basically is saying if the price is 10, uh, 12 people will be uh, willing, 12 people will be willing to pay 
a price of 10. Now, if the price is 10, how many people actually will, will pay to use Facebook, right? So everybody will pay because even those who are willing to pay 20 will pay because 10 is less than 20. Now, if the price is say two, uh, how many, sorry, if the price is 20, how many people will be willing to pay to use Facebook for one hour? That will be only two. Okay, so you can see that as the price falls, okay, as the price falls, so we move from 20 to 10, the number of people who will be willing to pay increases, okay? So this is the same relationship between the price and quantity demanded. So there is a negative relationship. The higher the price, fewer people want to pay, and the lower the price, more people want to pay okay so the willingness to pay curve is also called the demand curve okay so i hope this helps i uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next video